Oh my goodness. It is getting cold. It's snowing. It's nasty. It's beautiful, but it's nasty. It's such a cool time of year. And I'll tell you why this is my favorite time of year, people. Because not only is it Thanksgiving in a couple days, or it might even be Thanksgiving when you see this video, Christmas is in a month, you've got deer season, you've got flintlock season coming up where we go out to Pennsylvania and hang out with a bunch of guys and friends and just chase deer down with flintlocks in the snow. So many different, I don't know, so many just different feelings that are just taking place this time of year. Of different things that just get me super excited every single year. Like every single year, this is like from October to early January is like my favorite time. And I know for some people it's their least favorite time just because of the cold weather and they let that determine their happiness. But I'll tell you what, I love the warm months just because it's warm, but I like this time of year because there's so many different things that emotionally attach me to this time of year that's just like super, super exciting to me. So we're on our way up to Devin's place to pick up uh, my trailer that I left up there because I couldn't fit it on the trailer with Rosine on my 20 foot trailer. So I'm gonna have to go get my trailer and then I'm going to drop off a dash that I have out of the old parts truck first gen for Devin so he can use it for the parts truck that he's giving to somebody. He's literally giving it to somebody, a friend of theirs. We're gonna drop off the title for that truck because he needs a title for it so he can give it away to that person. So we gotta come back and we gotta haul Rosine off to the shop over here. We're actually gonna pass it in a minute, but I couldn't bring the dually because I had to drop off another like 600 orders. We're gonna drop Rosine off to get the air blood out of all the brakes and the fluids topped off. The blue first gen, I told you guys I'm thinking about giving it away. I'm actually gonna make that the next giveaway truck. I just decided to do it. I'm just gonna go with it. It's almost done. What I think I'm gonna do is just, just get it finished. I'm gonna take it to get the, the clutch work done. I'm gonna take it to get the carrier bearing replaced. I'm gonna take the center console up to get it upholstered. It's a lot of just that small stuff. Stuff. I'm just gonna get it done so that truck is just buttoned up and good to go. We're gonna tin it, swap out the injectors when it's actually down to get the clutch work done and the carrier bearing done. We're actually gonna have the guy go through the pump just to make sure everything's like fine-tuned and just just right. He's worked on thousands of 12 out. It's just stupid, but um, the guy knows his stuff. Yeah, blue first gen is gonna be the next giveaway truck. We're hoping that we can launch that right now. We have a date set to launch on December 1st for that truck. And from the 1st, I think it is to the 5th, there's going to be our best entry deal of the entire giveaway and that's it but the giveaway is only going on for 21 days it's December 1st to December 21st and the reason I wanted to do that is so that by like Christmas or a couple days after Christmas somebody can find out who won the truck we're gonna have the whole crew on shipping duty which is a full crew of people just packing and packing and packing to make sure that we can keep your stuff out going quick so that most of your guys' orders can make it to you before Christmas, except for those last few days. Those ones probably won't make it just because of Christmas Eve and stuff. Even if we ship them out on the 22nd and you place it on the 21st, it's just gonna be very, very hard to get, get it to you before then just with holiday stuff. And the post office is always closed for every single holiday or anything they can figure out to get closed for it. They, they close, but we're gonna try to get most of those orders that are placed early on in that giveaway shipped out so you have them before Christmas. But the giveaway is gonna be real short, so there's not gonna be like a ton of time for people to enter. If you guys have seen the series on that truck, you know how what it's been through. We've taken it and just completely redid everything on the truck, so it's crazy. This thing's got 44,000 miles on it now. And when we got the car, it hardly had 20,000 miles on it. And we have not even had the thing a year. So I was gonna film this video on my vlog camera, however, it's pouring rain outside, so, so I'm gonna transfer you guys over to the iPhone. I didn't actually get any video on my Ohio property when I was moving those stands around and stuff like that, so I apologize for that, but I am actually on my new Indiana property, and I thought about um, maybe showing you guys around this just a little bit. I'm just kinda still on my little vacation I guess you could say while the crew is picking up on orders which they're almost done by the way they've almost again almost have every order shipped out I think they had like 200 more left to do or something by the time I uh, went out of town but they just stay in pack full time we're almost done uh, almost caught up and we have a new giveaway starting December 1st for my blue first gen anyways in the stand right now got my 300 blackout it's probably my new favorite deer rifle, honestly. I'm just out here enjoying a nice hunt this morning. It's Thanksgiving day, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Even though this video is probably gonna go up after Thanksgiving day. So, 
Um, but still, happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully everybody had a good time with family. If you're still with family, hope you guys are having a good time. We're just doing a lot of traveling, a lot of family stuff, and it's all good. This property, I actually bought it. It's right down next to my in-laws. So I thought, you know what? It's a really good price. It's right next door to where we're gonna be all the time anyhow. Let's do it, so I bought it. Now, of course, we didn't get the property until the middle of November, so most of the rut was already gone. Gun season was already opened up. I mean, so I have really no idea how this property was in bow season. I really don't know anything about it other than where it's located, and the guy said that they've shot some really big bucks in here. The two neighbors don't hunt, but they have super thick brushy woods because they log all the time, and I thought, it's just what I want. Neighbors that don't hunt but log their woods to keep them thick. Only my second sit out here ever. Haven't seen a deer yet, but my cameras have been getting buck pictures every single morning and every single night, like right, I mean, within less than an hour of shooting light, but it's about 9.30 in the morning now. I haven't seen a deer yet. Either way, I'm so stoked to have the property. I'd rather be buying property than other dumb stuff that just loses all of its value, you know, so. Well, if I'm going to spend money on something, I'll spend it on property. So this property is actually not huge. I mean, it's a decent size, but I'm not going to give you specific acreage just because I know that there are people that are going to snoop around on um, Google Maps and, you know, property ownership maps and stuff and try to figure out where it's located, which, by the way, for anybody that's thinking about uh, trespassing, you will be prosecuted. Like, I'm not just saying that, I will literally prosecute you to the furthest extent of the law. Just a little heads up, but you can see all the posted signs all down the side. I'm just not about trespassing and dealing with that stuff. And the thing of it is, you are always going to have those people that try to bend the laws and bend the rules and be like, oh, well, technically, legally speaking, I could go over to the neighboring property and, you know, hunt and walk around or mushroom hunt or do whatever because technically it's not posted. So I could play dumb and say, I had no idea that, you know, this property that I had permission to be on was it all the way over here i don't want to deal with idiots it's very easy to deal with idiots there's a lot of them out there unfortunately at least with all the signs it's pretty obvious there's a sign every 20 steps you know whose property you're on but it's essentially just a big block it's got this little strip of field out here in front of it it's actually got quite a bit of timber on it like for timber value on the outer edges here there's a lot of smaller stuff that's just kind of typical but when you go back in there there's actually quite a bit of uh decent sized timber back in this place i mean not tons I mean, you're not going to get rich off of it but but i'd say there's probably about 20 percent of what i actually paid for the ground there's that much value just in timber alone if you were to select cut it not like clear cut but if you were just going to take some of the biggest trees you know 15 inches plus or 20 inches plus in diameter at chest height there's probably about 20 percent of the property's value just in select cut timber like i'm not big on like completely decimating your properties for logging but i am a deer hunter i do love deer hunting and one of the key things with seeing more deer and being able to shoot more deer and hold more deer is having enough bedding to hold those deer and when you live in an area like this where look how much woods there is around like there's woods but it's mostly field timber is a super super important thing and the more dense that it is the more deer you're going to hold when there's not a lot of cover available you know we bought this property i mentioned in a youtube two different youtube videos actually and under both of the videos that I mentioned, you know, hey, you know, like we, we bought another property. One, I said we're going to buy another property. And then my last video, I said that we had already bought it. And there were a few people under both videos that were like, oh, I can't believe you're out there enjoying this money that you're making. And I don't have my order. I don't have my stuff. Ship me my stuff faster. And, you know, you're out there spending all this money, but you don't ship the orders out. Like just people running their mouth, making up crap. Like we're literally almost done shipping out all the orders. I've explained it thoroughly many times in videos comments on social media posts on social media everywhere if you don't know how to read i don't know how else to help you and we've already taken care of it so for those people if that's you in the comments have some common sense don't make stuff up don't go running your mouth and making crap up dude it's really not cool so you can see a couple of these real big trees in here and this phone does no justice but i mean that tree is that tree's a tank and that one behind it it's huge too and you can see there's a bunch of big crowns back in there i mean there's a lot of real real big trees there's a big one leaning over right there it's pretty big too it's a big i think it's an ash um but there's a lot of big ones in here a lot of real big trees but i liked how broken up this property was like there's some really big timber 
but then if you look back in here at ground level i mean there's some really really thick areas as well not as thick as i want it in certain areas but we're going to take care of that so what i'm actually probably going to have happen is i'm going to have a logging company come out here and i'm going to mark out areas that i want them to basically clear cut which is just a couple small small areas and then just select cut with other areas and then uh, certain areas mark off where i want it to stay untouched so we have some open areas for you know food plots and shots and stuff like that and then the goal is going to be between this property and my ohio property the logging will cover the cost of a small tractor to be able to maintain these properties in terms of bush hogging and food plots and stuff like that again look at all the posted signs posted 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 dude i don't want anybody having any excuses i have no idea how big the buck is i just shot because he was about i want to say 100 and 40 150 yards he might not be very big we got this property down here and it's about an hour and a half from our house the cool thing is we have property when we go out of town to visit the in-laws family down down south of us but the bummer of that property being an hour and a half away is we're hardly going to get to hunt it as you can imagine and of course this year we didn't close on the property until after opening day of firearms we missed all of you know the main primary ride and archery season all that stuff i was like you know what i'm not gonna have a lot of time to hunt down here so if i can get a shot at a deer i'm just gonna get one get it out of my system and then uh plan and strategize for next season so we really understand what we're dealing with down here at this property so we're gonna go walk up to this deer he could be a four point a six point an eight point a ten point i have no idea all i know is i can see a clear view of his body broadside maybe quartering to just a hair he was just moving his head around a little bit and I could see antlers on his head but it was really thick look at this stuff so and look at this brush I had to shoot over I'm like way up above this and the tree stand obviously way up there but all this brush there's my trail camera right there but I mean this stuff is thick and nasty but clearly there's bucks in here because they're tearing these trees up even these small trees and big trees I mean just rubs and stuff everywhere you can kind of see them he looks pretty small. <laughs> I can honestly say this is probably the smallest deer I have ever shot, hands down. Definitely the smallest deer I've ever shot. But look at this bed. He's just been laying here. Looks like a daily thing too. I mean, he's been laying here a lot because this is just beat down right here. You can see this little dude. I have respect for every animal I shoot though, big or small. Definitely the smallest deer I've ever shot, but I'm just stoked. Stoked because it can only go up from here on this property. The wife's got a buck tag for here as well. And so uh, definitely excited. So like I said, he was quartering too, just a little bit. He'll make some good eat. I already see the comments coming about this deer, but you know what guys, I'm good with it. I chose to shoot this deer regardless of how big the antlers were because I said, you know what? I've only hunted here two times now since I've had the property. Probably only going to be able to hunt it another one or two times for the rest of the season. And firearm season ends in, oh man, three days, I think. And I don't own a muzzleloader currently. So it was either basically I shoot this deer because we're leaving in the morning or... I basically bow hunt the whole rest of the season. And I'll tell you what, you ain't making a 150 plus yard shot through the woods with a bow. So um, anyways, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was just supposed to be a little bit of a vlog, what we had going on, what we've been up to, just kind of like a little bit of, just I don't know what I have going on, which is just, you know, currently bought some more land, doing a lot of deer hunting, running some errands, family time, stuff like that. But super stoked, super happy with this deer. Hopefully you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. If you're still celebrating that stuff with family, hopefully you guys are doing great, having a good time, enjoying each other's company, even with all the horrible restrictions and guidelines. Some of these, you know, governors are trying to put on people. We've still got lives to live. We've got things to do. We've got people to be with, you know, life's too short to throw away precious time with people. So this is just coming from me. Spend as much time as you can with family and friends because you never know when it might be too late and you can't get time back. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoy these random clips throughout, you know, my vlog camera and my phone and just stuff that I gather, let me know. I'll shoot some more of them, you know, so even when I have off time, which is this is my, this is my vacation right here. I mean, hunting and family time is like, that's my vacation. So if you enjoy this, let me know down in the comments. I'll do more of it. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.